Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can both get and also use Microsoft Forms on your mobile device, whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone. First off, what is Microsoft Forms? With Microsoft Forms, you can create quizzes or surveys entirely for free. If you wanted to use forms in the past, well, you could go on to office.com, you could click on all apps, and then you could access forms there. You could also access it on your phone through your web browser, but never before has Microsoft Forms been available as an app. Today, we're gonna go into the app and we'll take a first-hand look at what you can do with it. Now, Microsoft Forms in the app isn't quite as feature-rich as what you get on your computer, but the benefit is you you could create forms and surveys on the go. All right, let's jump on the phone and take a look at how we can start taking advantage of this. Here I am on my iPhone, but once again, you can have either an iPhone or an Android phone to use Microsoft Forms. To use Microsoft Forms, we need to get the Microsoft Office app. On an iPhone, click into the App Store, and on an Android phone, click into the Play Store. Once you open up the store, go down and click on search and let's search for Microsoft Office. Here in the search results, you should see the Microsoft Office app right near the top. If you don't yet have the app, click on get or install. I already have it, so I'm going to click on open. Once you launch the Office app, you'll land in the home view. And the Office app can create surveys, but it can also do a lot more than that. Here on the home view, you'll see a preview of some of what you can do. You can get back to all of your different Office documents. If you have Word, Excel, PowerPoint files, you can very easily navigate back to those files from this main view. If you click down in the bottom center of the experience, you get three options. You could create sticky notes that automatically synchronize with sticky notes and windows. You also have Office Lens. This is my favorite way of taking photos on my phone, especially if you need to take a photo of a document or a whiteboard. It does a phenomenal job at cleaning it up. You can also create Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files directly from the Office app. You don't have to install the individual Word, Excel, and PowerPoint apps. Instead, all of those are contained within one app. Going back, there's one more action on the bottom, and this one is called Actions. If we click into this, this shows you some of the additional richness of the Office app. You could transfer files, you could take pictures of text and convert it to text that you can edit on your phone or PC. There are tons of different features around PDFs and at the very bottom, somewhat hidden away, you can create a form. Today, this is what we're gonna look at, so let's click on create a form. This now drops me in Microsoft Forms within the Office app and I have a blank canvas. I can now start creating my very own survey. This experience is optimized for a mobile device. Now, many of you know from watching some of my tutorials that I work at the Kevin Cookie Company and I've been meaning to pull together a customer experience survey for some time. So I might as well combine the two and I'll do this tutorial and maybe also get my survey done. First, I need to type in a name for my survey, so I'll go ahead and click up here and then type something in. I typed in a name for my survey and right underneath that, I can now type in a description for my survey. Let me type something in. I read this in a business book at one point that understanding customers is just good business, so that seems like a good description. Once you're all done, let's click on this text down here that says done. Now that I have all of my title and description entered in, there's a check mark in the top right hand corner. Let's click on that. I now drop back on the main screen and I have these question ideas that appear. Now Forms is being really smart. It sees that for the title of my survey, I'm pulling together a customer experience survey. Based on that, it pulls up a whole bunch of sample questions that I could use as part of my survey. I could go through and add individual questions or I could simply click on add all. Now today, I'd rather form my survey from scratch, so I'm gonna click on X for now, but it's nice to know that this capability exists. I now have my title, I also have my description, and right down at the bottom, I can start adding questions. Let me add my first question in by clicking on this button. Here I could choose what type of question I wanna add. I have four different types. Now, it's a little more limited compared to what you get on the web. However, you still do get quite a bit of richness here within the mobile app experience. My first question is a choice question, so I'll click on choice. I can now type in all the details of my question. I could type in my question and all the different options. I'll go ahead and type a question in with a few different options. 
I've now typed in a whole bunch of different types of cookies that we sell at the Kevin Cookie Company. Now, we do have more cookies, but I don't wanna list them out. These are the most popular. I could also click on Add Other Option, and this way, whoever's filling out the survey could also type in any of the other cookies that they like. So my first question is all done. Down below, I can require a response, so this means someone has to answer this question, and I could also allow someone to select multiple answers. Now, I am asking someone what their favorite cookie is, so it doesn't make sense to allow multiple answers. Once I'm all done entering my first question, I could click on the check mark in the top right hand corner to complete my question. I now see my survey coming together and I have my first question here. Let's add another question to this survey by clicking down below. For this one, I want to make it a text question. I'll click on text. For the next question, I want to ask what city should be the home of our next location. Once I finish typing that in, this will be a free form text response. I could mark it as required and I could also set it so someone could enter a long answer, but I just need a city name, so I'm gonna turn off long answer. I'm all done with this question, so I'll click on the check mark up above. I wanna add another question down here. Once again, I'll click on add question, and this time I wanna add a rating question. For the rating question, I wanna know how your last visit to the Kevin Cookie Company was. Once I finish typing in my question, once again, I can make it required. I could also indicate how many levels for the response I want. By default, you see that there are five levels. Now, I don't like five levels because people could just be a little indifferent and end up in the middle. Instead, I wanna force people to choose a positive or a negative response. So I'm gonna show four stars, forcing people to choose one side or the other. For the symbols, I could choose a star or a number. I like the idea of having a star. Once I'm all done, once again, I'll click on the check mark. I'm getting close to the end of my survey, but I think one more question would help. I'll click on add question again, and this time I'll add a date question. For the date question, I'm going to ask, when did you last eat a cookie? Now that I finished typing in my question, people can choose from a calendar to indicate when they last ate a cookie. I can make it required or not, but I'm not going to require it, and then up above I'll click on the check mark. I finished entering all of my different survey questions and this is looking good. Although I'm not quite sure if I need to ask people when they last ate a cookie. I don't know, I probably eat one every day so it's probably not such a good question because I'm sure people eat cookies all the time. To delete a question, I could click on the ellipses right here and then I could go ahead and now delete that question. One of the shortcomings of the mobile app is you can't move questions around. If I wanted to take my third question and move it to the top, unfortunately I can't do that. When you create your survey, you just have to make sure that you enter everything in the right order. Now you are creating a survey on your phone, so it's probably not gonna be that complicated of a survey, so that functionality isn't really that necessary. Once we're all done and I'm ready to learn what my customers think about the Kevin Cookie Company, up in the top right hand corner, there's an icon that you could click on to share your survey with the world. Down below, you have two different options for sharing your survey. You could simply copy the link to the survey and then you could use this wherever you want. Alternatively, you can also email a link to the survey by clicking on this button. For now, I wanna click on copy link and for the fun of it, I wanna learn what all of you think about the Kevin Cookie Company and what your thoughts on these questions are. I've included a link in the description to this survey and let me know what you think. All right, that was a quick look at how you can create your very own survey using Microsoft Forms on your mobile device. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite cookie? How was your experience at the Kevin Cookie Company? Click on the form link in the description and let me know and Maybe we'll improve the experience based on what you say. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.